this moment in time, though. Big fight's about to go down over there as the back towards PD, looking like it is going to belong to the Vegas Legion if Clayster can clean up this kill. Well, I'm still looking for each other, and we can see through the X-ray, Clayster and Joe receives a little bit like Shifts of the Night. Hasn't seen for so long, will eventually get that pick. No team really here at P2 yet, ton. And you see LAG trying to just get into position, but Clayster slow rolling it. And something to know as well, LAG at one stage with the new roster were fucking for it. They're going to come through orange as well, Clayster. He's got somebody to his right, and he's going to be deflected. This is a good hold from Vegas Legion. It does seem to be the same kind of story, though, from P2 to P3. LAG are there first, but they lose it in the second half. Well, we have had three minutes of hills coming up, Ricey, and Clayster has yet to die. 9 and all from him. We've got to stay on board with him. We're finding kills. Joe deceives the last one to like it. Three in a row. He's going to have to make it five. If he wants to lock it down, it's easy peasy for Joe. 15 seconds going over towards the side of LAG. Looking like the rotation is here for them as well. It's a split spawn for Vegas Legion. Potential pinch could be on the cards. But if LAG can read it correctly, they're in a good spot to defend. And this may be the difference. Why well, you've got Clayster currently dropping 14 and 2. The Legion have not had the rotation. It's the same old story. LAG are here first. The Legion now move, but nothing is going to come of it as well. We go in to this next set of rotations, basically with a tied game ton. Yeah, and Clayster has slowed down, which has ultimately found LAG back into the game. But slowing down and still be sitting at 15 and 6, not a bad position to be in. Of course, he will have that cruise missile as we head over towards the later stages of the game. He's going to get gunned off top P3, though. So we're all talk always talking about the rotation over towards P2. Can any team soak up some decent time over towards P1? Right now, Vegas Legion are the best spot for P2. Would like to hold this side of the map down if they can and extend over towards that car park side. But Legion currently just going to come through from Clayster. He's got PD control. Legion inside the point. Standy alone and out now. Gun and they've kind of let this go through as well. TJ, the rest of LAG are just punishing them as they push forward. A huge push all the way through. And I'll tell you something, I don't think Legion were expecting that kind of push. They were expecting maybe Orange or somebody splitting the map, but LAG just brute forced it. Yeah, and those bricks have been too easy to come by, I want to say. And Clayster actually investing the cruise missile here, trying to get it in before anybody can do something about it. In terms of trophies, Assault will dip inside and dip back out. 20 seconds to play for here for the LA Gorillas. Vegas Legion trying to answer back, but they do have the PD location, or did, but they're going to get wiped by Gorillas, who seem to be the team catching fire right now. They certainly are catching fire. Let's find out how to break them. And Vegas did look very good in breaking into these hard points. But you shouldn't have to keep doing it. Eventually, you may get rebuffed, and then you're going to lose a significant portion of time. And that's maybe just what happened. We saw Joe Steve starting to get hot. We saw Assault starting to get a little bit hot. And the slaying was no longer going their way. The rest of the team weren't keeping up with Clay. The rotations weren't perfect. And it's just difficult to do that over and over again. Let's find out if this is 2-0 or 1-1. On board, first of all, with Standy. We switched to the sniper with Arsenis, but nobody going to be on this scope yet. Big hit over towards A. Typical strat coming out in round number one. No trophies to play with if you're the defensive team, so you just hit it full force. Assault will stun. Assault will get out. It's going to have to be a 4v4 retake if that bomb does go down, but Stadi not quite in the position to do so yet. LAG, double tunnel stack. Legion will chow this at some point. The map as well! That is oh. an outrageous gunfight for Claystar! A lot of people wouldn't take it from that angle, but he does and wins it. And only exceed here to stop the clock at the moment. LAG have not found anything. And Temp waits like a panther. Down over towards that site. Legion not able to find much of a foothold towards it. So it's now about trying to find kills. A little bit of map positioning. Temp may well find some here. Shot too early. Our cities will turn and bend. And now the push from Legion is going to be minus one. There's one benefit. I did actually manage to get that streak earlier on. So they do have a cruise missile. But the moment. Only one player left on the flank as well. This is going to start slowly ticking up for Legion. They're in a good position to win this round, Bryce. They certainly are. They have the pressure. TJ staying alive with a full streak as well. Stanley trying to keep his life alive as he knows that someone is behind him. And he goes for Gunned. the wins it. Unfortunately, the rest of his team die. So a huge gunfight for Stanley. But they're just going to have to settle for one tick. It's a huge gun from Stanley. The rest of the team even trade at that stage. You're still in a good position. You still have a small grip on over towards that B side. And now all of a sudden, LA Gorillas can force themselves out of their spawn. They can get themselves into mid map. Because they're screaming, get the grenades in so this one can hit home. It doesn't, but TJ does. Two kills fall his way. LA Gorillas still with presence around this point, but six seconds to go. They have to be flawless. 
Joe the Seeds just staying alive. The rest of his team getting there fast as they can. And this pick should go in. Realistically, Legion shouldn't be able to stop it. It may be just enough, and it is. LHG get that first point on. And now it's a defense. Vegas Legion will have to get across the map and get in position before LHG get in here. It's just straight into the point. If you Joe deceives, no messing around. Rest of the team's way through in the water. And for LA Gorillas, they maybe just hurtle up that little bit too much. Joe Deceive still towards the back, so a potential pinch being set up here because Vegas Legion are going to know about this. Standy has to get out, smartly done, but he will be broken back again. Vegas Legion may well be 50 0 to the good here, but LA Gorillas, 30 seconds on offer, will obviously keep a hold of P2 somehow after they were broken initially. Just done enough work to hold alive at the back there. And it is a sigh of relief. You can already see the spawn coming out as well. Tem's going to be behind. He's going to take that scrap time away from him. Or at least he's going or to try he? to. There's a scrap. Gee. And he moves out towards it as well. Finds one as they fly back in towards him. Reinforcements flying in for the Legion as well. And they just cannot win the gunfight. Inside Exceed gets one more. Tem's going to fly down looking for the players. They just chaos erupts. But it's LAG who come out ahead. That's probably off the back of a huge win of assault towards the back there on Standy. Yeah, had to find it to allow the rest of his team to then push through the mid-map and have him set up the pin as much as Legion have when they have had to find a break. TJ is going to fall. Potential for a full 60, which will very much bring Gorillas back into this game. Around 60 behind with 40 on offer. That's four dead as well. Scary times for Vegas Legion. You've got to be careful not to allow LA Gorillas back into this game. Well, they're doing it. They have ruin. They've pushed up on the map as well. The Legion, it's a daunting prospect. They're going to check the corners. They're going to win the gunfight. They're going to get to hell and not lose the rotation as well with 20 seconds left to go. TJ does not want to give them scrap time. Already looking for that last one, but again, it's LAG who fill the kill feed. They have the kills. They have the ability. They do not have the respawn yet, but this game still hangs in the balance. Position line from Standy. He's not going to spawn him on the flank. Bomb yet to go down. TJ in a precarious spot, wants to make his move, but... I think he may well hear Exceed on his left-hand side, and that's why he's not moving yet. Exceed will get the door shot on him. TJ provides the cover for himself. It needs to be another 1v3 for LAG. And Exceed, the man of the moment, to try and stop the... Oh, my the first God! Well. Long-range Vaz fight. Does not have dead silence, though. He is a trophy carrier. So he has to go for it. Already he's in trouble. 65 health. Does he reach out Standy here? Because he knows where this player is. Health back. Time ticking away from him. Go to the reach out of the stand. He gets a few bullets in and alive. He's just so loud, Brosey. 20 seconds to go. All to do. Massively.